Hi everybody, it's Kim Hughes, and today we are going to talk about your home buyers. We are going to make sure that they are prepared not just only to buy a home, but what do they do to take care of that home after they have moved in? So we're gonna talk about two things here. When you have that phone call that says, hey, I wanna buy a home, um, the first thing you wanna make sure of is that they're pre-qualified. And you know how to do that, you know, to make sure that they've talked to their lender, they got a pre-qualification letter, and if they haven't, then you probably want to have them talk to the lender and then once the lender has them pre-approved, then you can work with them. That's just my opinion. Um, I would not work with any buyer without the pre-approval or at least knowing that they have that a process moving forward. And then you wanna make sure that they sign your buyer representation agreement. I have talked to so many agents that have lost buyers because they did not do this. So please make this part of your introduction when you sit down with that buyer, explain what that is, and then have them sign it. So now that we've gotten those two things out of the way, what I want to talk about now is as they are going through the process of buying, we need to educate them on what they should be doing as they are looking for a home and what they should not be doing. We all know what they should be doing is making sure that they are looking at the right prices, the, 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 the uh, stats of the home, whether they need a three bedroom, two bath, what school district, etc. So we all as agents know that these are the criteria of what we want to do with our home buyer. Um, if you have one of those needs and wants, um, you know, uh, checklist, then I would highly recommend that that be one of the things that you give them when you sit down in that first meeting. You know, have a little package for them with an introduction of who you are, how you work, what you expect from them, um, the, the buyer representation agreement, um, you know, the wants and needs, etc. You know, anything that you feel that it needs to be in that package is what I recommend that you do. Um, the, the other thing that, you know, we're talking about is don't buy anything. Don't go out and buy a new car. Don't go buy a washer and dryer. Do not buy anything that can affect your credit. Um, a lot of agents forget to tell their buyers this and they get into a situation. These buyers need to be educated that they cannot spend any money and, and on anything until after the closing. You know, so they think like a week before the closing, oh, well, we're clear. No, they're not clear. So you need to make sure that they understand that process, okay? This is not something new I'm telling you. I'm just building into the next phase of this conversation. So if you are working with a new homeowner who's never owned a home before, they've always rented, um, then this is where I think you could really make a difference in that home buyer's life. Um, if you are helping a buyer that has had a home before and this is their, they're moving up or they're empty nesting or whatever that case may be, some of the things that you can take initiative on to help them enjoy that home even more is to make sure that you have talked to those previous owners or talk to the other agent about what has been updated in the home, what maintenance has been done on the home. You know, the water heater, the, um, you know, the, um, you know, have, has any of the carpet been replaced? The floors, the doors, the windows, things like that, that you might see becoming something that your, your home buyer will need to take care of. I know that when my husband and I were looking at property a couple of years ago, he would always ask, how old is the house? How old is the house? Because then he could calculate when does that air conditioner gonna need to be replaced? If it's over 10 years old, well, we're looking at a, at a new air conditioner soon, a new roof. We're looking at things that could come up within maybe the first couple of years or the first three years of them owning that home, right? So these are the things that you might wanna have a discussion with when you are talking to them about buying a home. If they want an older home, these are the things that you need to bring to their attention when you go look at that property. So they may not even think about looking at that roof, but you as the agent could look at that roof and you could probably tell you know, how old it is, at least as the agent that's representing the seller. 
So these are some things that I want you to start thinking about and having conversations with your buyer so that they can start thinking and being educated on what they are gonna be prepared for the first year, the first two years, et cetera. Now, if you're showing them a new home, new construction, then they are going to have um, you know, a warranty on certain things in the home for the first year or the first two years. Need to know what those things are so that you can sit down with your buyer and make sure that they stay on top of that. And one thing that I recommend is if they are buying a new home or if they are taking out a home warranty on a, pre, on a home, then mark it on your calendar. So the day of closing could be, let's say, August 1st, um, 2018. Then I would write on my calendar on August 1st or maybe like July 1st, July 10th. Put on your calendar to start following up with that home buyer and saying, you know, I just was, I wanted to remind you that your home warranty is getting ready to expire or the warranty on your refrigerator is getting ready to expire, etc. So let's make sure that you don't have any problems with anything before, because we don't want to get caught after the warranty runs out. So that way you can help your, your home buyer look at the things that they need to look at before that warranty runs out. I'm going to tell you, when you do this, buyers are going to love you because they're going to go, oh my gosh, I forgot all about that. Well, I'm not really sure how I do that. You know, can you help me? Absolutely. And when you take that initiative with your home buyer who bought from you a year ago, they're going to come back to you and they're going to buy from you again. They're going to have you sell their home. They're going to recommend you to their friends and family because now you've taken the initiative that hardly any agent does within that first year. Um, a lot of agents will send out home anniversary cards, which I think are great. They'll put maybe a, a, a gift certificate in there to Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere where, and it will say something like, um, you know, congratulations on the first year. Um, you know, use this gift card to buy an air filter, your sm uh, smoke detector battery, something like that. But what I think you should do also is make sure that they don't let that warranty run out and it's something is wrong. Um, it's very important that we pay attention to that and help because it's not just selling the property, it's helping your buyer be happy in that home for years to come and knowing that you are there to help them with anything that they need help with, right? So another thing that I do is I always recommend um, a home binder. This is a great closing gift. Um, you could put this together, have them sitting in your office, and then personalize them to each one of your buyers. Um, it's great. They're, they can be very expensive or they can be very inexpensive. The one I'm gonna show you um, is just something that I just love. So I have made this for clients and they just love giving these out to their clients to their home buyers and the, re, the, the testimonials are phenomenal. So what I have here, I'm gonna just kind of hold it up, is this is a Martha Stewart disc bound binder and it, it's very nice. They're, they're not cheap, but they're not overly expensive. I think you can find them at Staples for like $25 maybe. Um, but on the back, you have a little ribbon that you can just close it and they close it. But the beauty about this is it's not only pretty, um, and you might even be able to find these in your, your branding colors. I know Martha Stewart has them in this color, which I call like a Tiffany, and then there is like an off-white kind of a gray color, and then of course there's black. And then your disc, um, you can get those in silver and gold. Th there's so many things out there that you could use, I'm not gonna go through them all. But the thing that I do want to point out is that on the inside of this one, you have your slot. So of course I would say put your business cards in there um, so that they can refer to them in the future. And then have dividers. Um, mine's a little fancy, but um, you have these dividers. So this could be like kitchen maintenance, um, outdoor maintenance, um, you know, appliances, it could be anything that you want it to be. 
Um, and you could put copies of their home warranty in here. You could put copies of other things that they may need. Um, it comes in really, it's really handy. You may not have it totally filled out, but you can get it started. And then when you give it to your client at closing, this is something that you can tell them, hey, when your refrigerator comes in, um, put the, the manual in here, put the warranty in here, make sure you do your registration card, etc., And talk to them about how to use the binder. So this is something that they will keep in their home and they will refer to. Like we've been in our home almost 30 years and my husband has a binder and if you ask him, how many times have you replaced that air conditioner? How many times have you had it maintenance? How, what about the water heater? You know, everything. He can tell you when it was done, by who it was done and how much it cost. So these are the things that would be important for your home buyer to start keeping um, so that when they get ready to sell it, they can hand it back over to you and say, this is what, since we've lived here, this is what we've done on the home. Here are all the warranties on the appliances, the floors, the air conditioner, the water heater. Um, this is when we updated the home and the floors, new faucets, new bathroom, whatever that is. So these are really great. Now, like I said, they don't have to be fancy. Um, I'm just a fancy girl. So I like fancy and I like pretty. So most of the time when you're putting this together, be, kind of be consistent. You might play around with it at first, go on Amazon, look for some ideas. Um, you can go to YouTube and look for videos on, you know, putting binders together for the home. Um, it's called home management. Um, there are some great ones out there. This is where my idea came from was I was updating ours and I was watching some YouTube videos on it. And my husband was um, keeping everything in, a, in like an accordion file and I just kind of took it and reorganized it and put it in a binder and it sits in his, in his office on his desk so that when he needs something, he can just flip right to it. He even has his lawnmower stuff in here. Um, we have a lot of properties, so we have um, not just one lawnmower, we have a couple of them. And so he keeps all the information on that, he keeps all the information on our vehicles, everything to do with everything in our lives, he's got um, information on it. So this is something I highly recommend. So like I said, go to the office store, play around and see what you like, but this is something that I think that your buyers would truly appreciate when it comes to the closing table because a lot of homeowners that are new to being homeowners don't understand what all they need to do because they're used to calling the landlord to come do it for them. So when you are able to tell them, this is what you're, you know, you need to start learning how to take care of your home, you know, you need to change your air filter every month. You need to do your, your lawn maintenance and things like that. It helps those homeowners feel um, that you're trying to take care of them after the fact, right? So you can pick and choose what you tell them because you're gonna know your client better. So anyway, hopefully this is a great video for you. If, if you enjoyed it and you're watching this on YouTube, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos when they come out, um, you can hit the subscribe button and you'll get notification immediately as I post. And if you have any comments, any questions, um, feel free to put them in the comments, whether you're looking at this on my blog or on YouTube. And if you would like to share it, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.